Hi, this is Aime, and in this video I'm going to show you how to import someone else's list into your autoresponder series, and then where you can go to view those um, autoresponders and edit them and any global fields that may be in there. First you want to go ahead and log into your account. Okay, after you log in, you're going to click on Messages and you are going to make sure that you are on a list that is either a blank list or a default list or um, if, you, if this is directly the list that you're going to add the autoresponders to then please know that adding a code to add a list of messages or autoresponders to any list will replace everything on that list so um, just uh, you know be, know that before you do it, but uh, basically all you're going to do is go to the list and scroll down here where it says use a predefined campaign by entering the campaign code. Enter the code that you will receive from whoever sending this to you, in this case it's probably me, and click on load campaign. And that's going to take just a few seconds and it's going to load every email uh, autoresponder that the person created for that campaign, okay? And uh, the first thing that you want to do when you receive somebody's code, okay, is you want to go into, um, just hover over this tab that says list settings and go to global fields. Because right now, the global fields for that list is probably set to the person's uh, links, etc., that sent that to you. So what you want to do is you want to change that to your information, okay? In my case, it would be info at payforrevolution.com. Um, in this case, the sign up link should be um, your affiliate link to um, infinity, okay, 800, which should be infinity800.com um, slash index um, that HTML, and then, you know, your affiliate number should be in there somewhere. So you'll get that from your back office of the infinity 800. And you want to also make sure that you change this to your name. So in essence, any... Um, information that is contact information make sure that it's yours okay and not um, mine and that way you will make sure that your emails have your links in them so pay real close attention to this because it's a very important part to ensure that everything goes to the right place um, I also recommend that you go up here and you add a signature okay so when you're done you're just gonna click save and your emails, your messages are ready to go. So you want to go back to messages, okay? Now all these messages are set up to work with those global fields, okay? So if you want to change any information in them, you'll have to um, just go into each one of these and review them carefully. It's going to take you about 30 minutes to do that, but I highly guarantee, uh, recommend it because you want to make sure that your messages have you know, the main gist of what you, you know, this is trying to convey, but also, you know, in your words, and if something doesn't resonate with you, then change it. So this is just a really a general guide for you to have something to get started with. It'll work. There's nothing on here that, um, will reference uh, me or the person who sent you this code. So you should be good as far as um, identification is concerned. But uh, you may want to go through each one of these and whatever you change, make sure you change it up here and that you also change the text um, format of it too. A Weber creates an HTML and a text format. So you have to make sure that you change both. And usually what I do is if I change something here, instead of going up here, down here, I just, when I'm done making all the changes and everything looks good to me, then I just copy everything and paste it at the bottom. Okay. So that way both are identical and exactly the same. And then once you're done, you click on save and you're good to go. Okay, and that's all you need to do to set up your autoresponders. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.